Hello Brassic Classics, so welcome back. Um, today we're on the Land Rover. I'm sorry it's been such a long time. Um, it's been months since I did anything on this. Um, but yeah, everything else got in the way, what can I say? Anyway, I'm hoping today to get the front grille off, the radiator off, and um, just get it ready to take the engine out. Uh, obviously I've got the rear main oil seal on the crank to replace, which is an engine out job. Um, so yeah. Let's do it. Wish me luck. Okay, so that's the front panel and the radiator out. Uh, in a minute I'll show you what condition they're in. Um, they're not too bad. The, the front panel, unfortunately, on a Land Rover Series 3 is not aluminium, it's steel. So I'll just show you quickly. Rust is a problem. Um, in the end, I did just cut through the wiring harness for the front lights because I just couldn't get it free. Um, but it's been well bodged before. There was a there's tape all over it and push connections. I think, yeah, a new one of those is a good idea. Anyway, uh, next thing I'll show you the front of the Land Rover without the radiator on. And then we can start looking at getting this engine out finally. Right, so I'm just about ready to lift the engine now. Um, got a trusty engine crane. Thank you, Tony Murray, for lending me that. And uh, I've got an old tow rope. And um, before everyone writes in the comments, yep, now I should have a proper engine lifting system, but I haven't got one. And I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna try this. And if it doesn't work, I'll get the uh, tow straps out, see if that works. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Wish me luck. engine needs a little bit of gentle persuasion. Okay, I think it was just the start of most that was wedged in against the bodywork holding it in. So. Okay, also the uh, oil filter breather pipe is blocking the diesel pump in. So once I get that out, then we will be getting there. Fingers crossed. So that's the uh, air filter hose off. So now fingers crossed it should finally be able to get this engine out. So that's the uh, wet air filter housing off. I just couldn't get past it, so. It would have made it easy if I disconnected the throttle cable. Little things. Okay, so I've just connected, disconnected the um, brake lines from the um, 
fast turn the brake cylinder. I think that's what it's called. And I've just done the fuel line. Um, so yeah, it should now be free. Um, just another thing quickly. If I've got any of the terminology wrong for what I'm doing, uh, do forgive me, but also do comment and let me know because um, I'm not really a mechanic. Um, I've got a Haynes manual and that's about it. So if I do make mistakes, let me know. Anyway, let's see if this engine's ready to come out. Finally! So there you have it, one Land Rover Series 3 engine removed. Thank you to Clive for the help. Okay, so here's where the engine used to be. And the chassis rails actually don't look too bad. Uh, I've got quite a lot to tidy up wiring wise and obviously replace uh, the fuel lines to the diesel filter there and also a few other bits that I've had to just cut off because there's no other option really. But as you can see it could do with a tidy up. It's not a negative thing really. Sort that oil out in a bit. And we have the engine itself. Um, so the next stage with this is get it on the engine stand, flip it over, remove the sump and uh, which looks like it's got a few leaks and then we can finally remove this rear crank and then we can replace the rear crank oil seal and then we can start putting it back together so um, yeah fingers crossed wish me luck okay so there you have it um, one engine removed from a Land Rover Series 3 um, I'm sorry it took so long to do it it's just been so busy with all the other projects um, the next stage, as I say, is to remove the rear main crank. Um, other things I'm going to do is obviously engine mounts because they're, they don't look too bad, but why would I not replace them while I'm here? Um, and yeah, just as I said, just to tidy it up a bit. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do feel free to like, share and subscribe to Brassic Classics. Um, Brassic Classics also has an Instagram page now, um, which I'll put a link to here. Um, so yeah, do follow us on Instagram, Facebook and also on YouTube. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.